What's up everybody, Anime X here, and in this video I will be explaining Gon's transformation into an adult. I've been wanting to do this for quite a long time, maybe even before I even started the channel, because a lot of transformations in anime are conceived right before the fight because the villain is known to be more powerful. In Akira Torama's case, he made Super Saiyan 4 it to be easier for him, and in many other writers' case, they make it because they need a quick, easy way to make the character more powerful without breaking the lore of the story. But I really want to explain why this doesn't apply to Gon's transformation, and why this transformation just goes to show how good the writing and consistency is in Hunter x Hunter. If that type of content interests you, consider subscribing and hitting the bell to be alerted to all of my content. And so, without further ado, let's get started. Now, before I go into explaining Gon's transformation, I have to first give a quick rundown of Nen and go over a few things. The first thing I need to talk about is Nen itself. In a nutshell, Nen is a life aura or life force similar to how Chakra is in Naruto or Ki in Dragon Ball. Although there are a few key differences, see what I did there, uh, the one that is important for this video, that while Nen abilities can be inherently weak or just have not as potent as others, everybody that uses Nen has the ability to strengthen their Nen ability by forming Nen contracts. These limitations or contracts are basically agreements to gain a lot more power um, for the price of not being able to use it during some time or uh, some other limitation. The harder the limit, the more that you can do with this ability. Like I said, the stronger limitation, the more power is gained. To give you guys an example, I'll use Karapika. Karapika made one of these Nen contracts on his ability to conjure chains, since if he didn't, it would be extremely hard to, you know, be able to do much with him. There would be a hard limit to what he can do with these chains, you know, you know, basic chains, anybody with you know, somewhat superhuman strength to be able to break out of them. He basically made a contract saying that he can only use a certain chain on a group of people that he deemed worthy of his wrath. Now, these people that he wanted revenge against are extremely powerful, so depending on the limitation, the chains would fail and break. But Kurapika was so determined to get his revenge that he wagered his life for it. Basically, he said that he, he used the chain against anyone that isn't part of the Phantom Troop, which is the group that he's after. The chain, with a knife pointed at his heart, will kill him instantly. And since he made the limitation very restricting and even wagered his life on it, if he broke it, he got an extremely powerful, you know, Nen ability. Now, I tell you guys this because it plays into explaining Gon's transformation, as you'll see right now. Now, like I went over before, Gon's transformation is due to something already established in the series, and wasn't an on-the-spot decision like some other transformations in different anime. Now, after explaining Nen contracts, I think that you guys can see the connection between the two. Gon has mastered, had his master killed, and he wanted to find the person that killed him and fix it. And they agree to, but when it comes time to heal his master, Kite, P2 decides to be honest with Gon and let him know that it isn't possible for him to revive his master Kite. This sends Gon flying into a rage which makes his Nen aura flare up. And then we hear Gon say that, I don't care anymore, just give me all the power I'll ever have. And this is when he transforms into his adult form. He basically transforms into an age where he's at his prime, at least in terms of Nenor and physical ability. This seems like a very powerful transformation and something that he should do consistently, and while in other anime it would be, the cost for such power is his Nen and his life in this anime. Gon decided to sacrifice his Nen and life in order to gain his maximum amount of power, and while it gave him tremendous power, it came with a huge drawback. And to me, this is great storytelling and story consistency, and a great way to have a transformation with consequences and a good way to make it impact the story. And with that being said, I think it's time to close out this video. Once again, I would just like to thank everyone that made it this far in the video and everybody that made it to the very end. And once again, there will be a poll between two characters, um, which I should scale in the top right hand corner. And if you guys like my content and haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing and hitting the bell to be alerted to all of my content. And also consider following me on all my social media platforms, which will be linked down below. And as always guys, this is Anime X. Signing off.